Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by meeting with the chairperson of the United States Export-Import Bank, Rita Jo Lewis, in the Bahamas. President Ali and Lewis discussed a range of topics, including financing of infrastructural projects in Guyana. While in the Bahamas, His Excellency Dr. Irfan Ali also met with members of the Guyanese diaspora. During the meeting, the President spoke extensively about government's development plan, especially as it relates to healthcare, human resource development, education, the oil and gas sector, agriculture and tourism, among others. His Excellency welcomed students and teachers from the Sisters Nursery School on the East Bank of Burpees during a visit to State House. The students serenaded the Head of State and the Ministers by performing several local songs, including a rendition of a calypso that they composed. President Ali discussed the development of a Presidential Advisory Council on Medicine and Science with two U.S.-based scholars, Professor James Allison and Guyanese-born Professor Padmini Sharma. Professors Allison and Sharma are in Guyana under the non-profit foundation Abraham's Tent, through which a school in Berbice was recently constructed. Also, the head of state accommodated students at State House from several nursery and primary schools across Guyana, including Salem, Fort Ordinance, Gangaram, Cropper, Les Beholden, and Newmarket Primary Schools. Students from Jasso's Nursery and East Islamic School also toured the President's official residence. His Excellency received a courtesy visit from the Minister of State of Overseas Territories, Commonwealth, Energy, Climate and Environment for United Kingdom, Lord Zach Goldsmith, at the Office of the President. Discussions centered around ways Guyana and the United Kingdom can strengthen their relationship, Guyana's 2030 and Beyond Agenda, and how the UK and Guyana can incorporate youth and agriculture whilst promoting food, climate and energy security. His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali spoke of the importance of families, society and the collective effort of our workers in building a Guyana that is second to none during his address to the nation on Thursday evening to usher in the country's 53rd Republic anniversary. He told a large gathering at the annual flag raising ceremony to secure Guyana's future and to safeguard the land and preserve the beauty of a unified people. From many lands and lineage came people of different strains and beauty, each in their own imagery, each seamlessly integrating with each other into a land that will be diverse and free, in which the bondage of oppression was defeated and the hands of outward kingdom was removed, giving birth to the Republic, independent and free, six years prior, but disjointed from the final arm of colonial rule 53 years ago. Today, we stand diverse and beautiful, shaken but not fallen, tested but not defeated. The trials of the past can either keep us in its wounds that refuse to heal and lay only an unsettled path, or it can strengthen us to a resolute future where we can remove those wounds, heal the pain, celebrate the victory of the trials, and renew our spirits in the oneness of a country and land that brings with it glory of prosperity, the beauty of unity, and the success of hard work. On Thursday morning, President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali reaffirmed his government's commitment to promote transparency and accountability in every aspect of governance, particularly in the extractive industries. I have made it extremely clear that this government stands resolutely and strongly behind every single institution that promotes transparency and accountability. We will spare no effort in advancing transparency and accountability in everything we do. In relation to the EITI report, I've already made it clear that it is unacceptable to have a delay in the submission of our report. 
notwithstanding the fact that an extension was given by EITA Secretariat to May this year, to have that report completed by May this year, we still should have been in a position to have that report submitted. Notwithstanding the fact that all countries were given an extension in 2019 as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, and in our case, extensive floods in the forests, in the hinterland, that obstructed data collection. The pandemic that brought with it its own circumstances. I've made it very clear that I would not tolerate delays in the presentation and submission of our report. President Ali commenced match day celebrations with a stop at Camp Ayangano, where he interacted with patrons. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching. Do join us again next week.